What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. Go hit it. Go hit it. <laughs> it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this review started. All right, season 20. Yeah, I'm on of the Mahabharat. Yesterday during my live, people asked if I've watched any new of the Mahabharats, and I was like, no, I haven't. So last night I was like, let's watch some, and I'm gonna tell y'all I couldn't stop because I started season 20. <sighs> let's talk about it, all right? Let's talk about it. All right, so it starts out that, you know, the armies are gathering. They're ready to get, re they're getting ready for this war. They picked a place, a t didn't Drapati pick like the time? They, it's even got the name now, the Mahabharat. And, you know, the armies are gathering. They're getting their people around and people are reflecting, especially Bhishma, right? He was over there and he was like, I know my time's coming. <laughs> he was. He was like, I know my... Telling Vidor, he's like, the person who's going to kill me is going to be on that other side. He knows that Ambia, Amber, you know... <laughs> I forget her, how to, her name, but... Since like the first season, Amber, she been ready to get him. Well, he knows the time's come because she's going to be on the other side. And oh, didn't you like that? Didn't you like that when they were like, oh, we're going to go and, and, and lead, lead the armies. And, and then Yudi goes and points over to, to, to that. Uh, I can never say her name. I still call her Amber, but she's reborn. It, it starts with like an S. Shikandi, Shik Shik something like that points over and, and then gonna make her the general i was like oh that's right girl pop my girl's gonna be the general she's gonna be able to lead that army she's gonna mess that up for his old shakani one eye shakani one eye over there we're gonna set the rules thinking he's mr trickster you know what, what was the first rule that they set oh i'm trying to think of all the rules but i remember the one because he was like oh we gotta be fair it's fair you gotta, you were only gonna, like, like, I'm like, what kind of rules are these for the war? They need these kind of rules over there for the Ukraine and the Russia, because they're not following any rules. But over here, they got some strict rules. He's like, only a, 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 a guy with a mace can fight another guy with a mace. So then right then you think, oh, that's gonna be Beam and the Mean Prince going at it. <laughs> you know that. Then they're like, the air, one with the, with the archer can only fight the other archer. And you're like, oh, you already know that because you're like, Karn. And our June, and then so they agree, and then he's gonna break out. Oh, that means women can't be on on uh the the battlefield. I was like, why are you gonna do that to my girl? She just felt all over. She was all feeling happy and good over here, thinking she gonna you know lead some stuff, make a make some history, and then you are gonna do that to her. Talking about she can't fight because she's a woman. Oh, that made me mad. That made me mad. And on top of it, because she was like, well, this is my chance. I was promised that I get to have my chance with the with the Bishma. Because you remember her. Bishma. She was always like that. Remember when she was Amber? Yeah, no, 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 Bishma. No, I'm going to get you, Bishma. She was always calling out his name. She wants his, she wants him dead. Bishma don't even kind of like that either. He's ready I think he's he's tired. <laughs> That's what it is. He's tired. He's like, I've been doing this for how many years now? <sighs> I think he's ready to go. He's ready. He's like, I've been living too long. I can see it. I can see you living the long life. Just like, all right, this is, I done living my time on earth. We're ready to start anew. So I don't think he was happy with that decision either. But that's little Shakani doing his little tricks. But I think the real the real story in the in this season so far, uh, well, at least the first you know seven episodes is the ones I have watched, is what Karn, right? I'm gonna tell you no matter what, I'm still not gonna like Karn. <laughs> I shouldn't even be that way. I know. I try. I really do. Everybody's like, oh no, you're gonna like Karn at the, by the end. And then last, remember last season I was talking about Karn? That, like, how he's not on my good side of it still. I mean, he did some good stuff now. Because now it's the whole thing, like, you know, Indra, Arjun's father, right, is going to ask for his ear. I, what does the earrings even do? I don't even remember what the earrings do. But his 
body armor stuff. He's like, oh, give it over. You can't have godly stuff up in, in the war. Although, don't they have like the godly instruments? <laughs> I was like, don't they have, not the instruments, the weapons. Don't they have like the godly bows and all that? I was like, but he can't have that. I thought they had the, the godly weapons in it. I mean, they have the God in there. Krishna's on the other side. They have God actually in the war. But I know he's, he said he's not going to take part or anything. But so the Indra was like, well, wait, I want this back. But you know, it's for, I, even though he's like, oh, we can't have godly weapons on there. You know, it's for Arjun. You know, it's for Arjun. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, he's, he knows that's going to be them two going head to head. And then even, you know, Karn's father was like, warning them, don't give it up. But that's what that, and that's the thing I like about Karn because he has like that arrogance in him. He's like, I don't need this. I don't need this suit of armor to beat him. You could take it. Like, you know, I was like, you, you, you got, you think you're that good. Gonna, gonna beat Arjun, don't even need your armor. And what was the reason he's gonna keep it? That mean prince saying, you're gonna protect me. Well, number one, I don't even see how that makes sense because they already have the rule that, you know, you can't go against uh, someone not of your equal you know, weaponry. So he can only go against the mace people, the people that fight with the big maces and stuff. So how is he going to get protected from Arjun's armor from that? That armor ain't going to protect, you know, the mean prince getting attacked with a mace. He's going he's gonna to lay on top of him. I was like, no, this don't even make sense. <laughs> I was like, that... That's a dumb excuse. I don't like that. Mean Prince just trying to find excuses. I forgot my second reason because I, I got fired up. I was like, I know there was more reasons, you know, about about this armor. But you know what? Like, and forgot him though, didn't he? He got him. He's like, oh, well, you gave another oath. I know you gave your oath to your friend. You're going to protect him. But you gave another oath about charity. And guess what? I'm going to show up tomorrow morning. <laughs> That's what he told him. I'm going to show up till tomorrow morning and test your oath. Which one you going to choose? We saw what he chose. We saw what he chose. He he is out there ripping. He is ripping. I was like, oh, no. That looks, oh. He was ripping it off of him and all bloody there. Oh, that looked painful. Still don't make me like him because <laughs> I still think he did it for, well, he did it for the charity, but I still think he did it for like his own little arrogant ways. Like, I'm, I don't need this armor. Arjuno was going to stop him. Remember, he ran over there. He's like, no, nah. when he figured that out, he ran there to stop him. Arjun's like, oh, no, I don't want to face, I'm going to face him with all his armor and everything. And be. So, Ar I mean, Arjun had a little arrogance there, wanting to fight him, but... He already done it. He had already pulled it off. And and then he was like dying from it. He was, he fell over. He was st still like all red. Oh, Arjun. And then what, Kunti found him? Oh, but he sure got a boon from it. He got like that special weapon that he's like, oh, that weapon's gonna, gonna like pinpoint the one you want to kill and get him. I was like, Arjun, you better watch out. You better watch out, Arjun, for that. You better watch out for that special weapon. That's by your dad too. That, that's got your DNA in it. That will really find you. <laughs> now, this is the one thing. I'm a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take back some of my words because I was always like, all oh, that mean prince. Just He just wants to be Arjun's friend because he or he knows Arjun got the... Or not Arjun, sorry. He just wants to be Karn's friend because he knows Karn's got all the skills and he's the only one that can go head to head with the Arjun. And Arjun's like one of the most powered you know like got most skills like i mean he gets out that bow he can do anything he builds houses with that bow <laughs> you know he does he goes to space with that bow and then remember when he shot that the, the, the fish in the eye up in the space he could do some stuff with that bow so do you know that I mean prince he's careful with that bow and he's like we're gonna we're gonna be careful with it i'm gonna have like the, the, my best friend's gonna be the the one the only one that can go against Arjun. So he picked Karn and and did all that made Karn like the the prince and everything. But I always thought it was really selfish reasons. Like he just wanted to use him. But I did see a side of the mean prince. I was shocked over when when Karn was laying there like all bloody and dying. The the mean prince had some tears in his eyes for his friend. 
I never saw that kind of motion in, in the mean prince. I was a little taken back. Is this true? Because I know how they do on, on these series. Sometimes they make it just for the dramatics, you know, for the story. And it's not really in, in the original epic. So I wonder, because I was like, the, print, the mean prince has emotions? I was shocked about that. I'm, see, I'm still not even believing. I'm like, is that really in the epic? Because I think they made that up. I'm still not believing it. Oh, but that cunny. She, oh, they letting the secrets out the bag, huh? Because there's Karn laying, to, you know, in pain dying. And, the, and the, mo the, the, the mom and the dad who raised them there. And then Varishi's Ver there crying because they see Karn dying over there. Kunti's all upset. She, she doesn't tell them all that she, that's her son, you know? And what did they say? They're like, well, if this is your son, you really care about him, bring back your other two sons that got those healing herbs to take care of, like to fix them. And she did too. I thought, I was like, come on, let's, t let's get all the secrets out the bag now. You done told them, you, you done told Varushi and, and all them, they all know that Karn's your son. And then she was about to, it took her forever. She's like, because Karn, Karn is, uh, and then here comes Arjun. He he gave up his shield. He needs help. I was like, no, Arjun, don't interrupt her. <laughs> she about to tell everybody that Karn's his son. She about to tell all, all y'all, all the Pandavas that Karn's his son. He done interrupted her. So I was like, no, nah, I wanted to tell him. <laughs> but it was, you know they're going to do the right thing. You know they're going to do the right thing. They, they got the son. They come up there with their healing herbs. And then that was like, I didn't know it. I don't remember this all about those twins. I don't even remember their, their names half the time. Or most of probably 99% of the times I don't remember their names. But now they got those healer. I didn't know they got those healer powers with the herbs. Because I always wondered. I was like, what is what is their special talent? Because you know, our June's got the, the skill. Beam's got the strength and everything. Yudi, of course, is the, the most righteous of the righteous. And then I was like, what did these twins do? Well, the, we know now they got the healing herbs. <laughs> I can use some of those healing herbs. I got some arthritis. But they sure, they healed them. And then they were like, we're going to kill you. <laughs> right? They wasn't even nice about it. They're like, you're, you're done healed. Now prepare to die. When, when your car wake up. When he woke up, they were like, prepare to die now. But still, I'm like, oh, Cundy. Because there's, Car knows that the country's his mom and he even made I'll protect her remember because he was like come on our camp and she's like no I have to stay here and Karn's like I'll protect her like her mother I was like he's trying to tell you something there twins you know and then uh, everybody else up in there knows that that's Kunti's son they need to, they need to just tell they need to just get this secret out in the open and stop all this well maybe they will because there is what seven more episodes in this season I'm telling y'all, I started last night. I whipped through seven. I might be whipping through the rest of this season tonight. We'll see. Maybe tomorrow I'll have another review, but I'm into it. Oh, it's so good. And it's a little sad. I'm like, I'm at the end of this. I'm at the war, the big war that this has all been building up to. All right, y'all. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time.